So there's most likely gonna be a brand new Pokemon Presents on August 8th of this year, so like a week away. There's been some leaked coding found in Pokemon Masters EX that suggests that, so I have a few things that I'd hope to see them announce. Honestly, the main thing I'd love to see would be any type of announcement for like the next big main game coming out. And as you probably know, there's been a ton of rumors about Black and White 3 or like an open world Generation 5 Unova Legends style game, and that's my favorite generation, so I definitely would love to see that, but that's not official, there's no official news about, you know, black and white anything coming out soon, so maybe even just an announcement about whatever the next main game is, like it doesn't have to be black and white 3 or black and white legends, whatever they would call it, I just have to see like a glimpse at what they are gonna do in the future for the next mainline game, which will probably come out in 2024, like even if we just get the name of whatever the next mainline game is, that's gonna be enough for me, I don't really expect them at all to like drop a trailer or anything for whatever the next game is gonna be, all I'm asking for is just a little glimpse, and let's say they do actually announce a new Legends style game, my prediction is that that game is gonna come out early 2024, just because Legends Arceus was released early 2020. Too, so it wouldn't be out of question to see them release a Pokemon game in early 2024. I mean, that's definitely wishful thinking on my part, but you know, it's just a prediction, something I'd like to see. I also hope we're gonna get more information about the upcoming Scarlet and Violet DLC. I'm really hoping to get an official release date for both parts of the DLC. I mean, they said Teal Mask would come out in fall 2023, and that's literally right around the corner, so I feel like in August. Pokemon Presents would be the perfect time to announce that date. I'm pretty sure that's guaranteed, like, I mean, they haven't said anything, of course, but if logically thinking, I think that's probably gonna be announced. I'm gonna assume that the first part of the DLC will come out in September, and then the second part probably is gonna be, like, November, December, possibly even pushed until early 2024 as well. But, you know, I hope it's not delayed. Hopefully it's gonna come out, like, November or December, the second part of the DLC. With that, I'd also like to see any new Pokemon announced, like maybe new regional variants or maybe even some completely new Pokemon. I honestly feel like Generation 9 of Pokemon kind of had like lackluster designs. I, I didn't really like most of them, but there were some that I honestly really did like. Like some of them were just great, great designs, great Pokemon, but in my opinion, a majority just were not that great. Also, with Scarlet and Violet, I would also really like to see them announce like an update that'll fix some of the bugs and lag and glitches within the games. I'm not even sure if that's possible because if it was possible, I would think that they would have given us that update by now. Like, I mean, it's been like 10 months since the games have come out, so I would assume that they probably would have given us a bug update that would have fixed all the lag and glitches and stuff. So I don't even think that's possible, but hopefully it is. Something else that I'd love to see would be a new Pokemon game added to the Switch online service. Like, the ones I'd love to see the most would be, of course, GameCube games like uh, Colosseum or like XD or whatever. I don't think that's going to happen. I really don't think we'd get GameCube on the Switch online service on the Switch. I feel like they're going to save the GameCube stuff for the next console, like the next main console that Nintendo releases. But games that they could possibly release Pokemon related on the Switch online service would be Generation 1, 2, and 3 because... The GameCube and GBA have been on the Switch Online service for some time now, and that would just be so awesome if we could get Generation 1, 2, and 3 on the Switch. But on the other hand, I don't even think that they would do that because they'd probably want to get more money off of those games, and they'd probably release them on the eShop for like $10 a piece, which isn't a bad price at all. But I don't really see Nintendo giving us Generation 1, 2, and 3 just because they know if, if they release those games on the eShop, they're just going to get so many sales. They're going to get another couple million dollars per game, probably. Detective Pikachu 2 will probably also be one of the main things that they talk about in this Pokemon Presents. The first game seems like it had a lot of success, and Detective Pikachu has a solid fan base behind it. So I think that they're kind of eager and excited to release and talk more about that game. I'm not going to be playing it, but, you know, I'm happy for the Detective Pikachu fans and that they're getting a sequel. I'd say that they're also going to bring up something about Pokemon Go. I don't really know what they would add to the game, but I'm sure we're going to see something announced for it. I still play Pokemon Go, like, I'm not on it all the time, but every few days I'll go on it, catch a few Pokemon or whatever. I'd like to see some new additions to that game. I don't think Generation 9 is on that game. I'm not actually too sure, but if Generation 9 isn't on Pokemon Go, that'd be awesome to see it. They also recently released uh, Pokemon Sleep, so I feel like it's certain that they're going to announce something with that game. Probably nothing big because it's a new game, of course, but maybe they're going to add some new Pokemon or maybe announce some new features or maybe they'll announce a big update for the future, like they'll give it a, 
like they'll get us ready and get us hyped for a future big update but they're just gonna announce it now they're not gonna release it anytime soon I don't have too many things that I'm like dying to see. Well, I'm not really dying to see anything to be honest, but I would just love to see anything black and white related, like a Legends game or black and white three or whatever they're gonna do, an open world game. I have really no idea because it's all just leaked. It's all speculation about the black and white stuff. So nothing's officially announced. And if we don't get that, I think it'd be great to see just a name or like a logo of whatever the next big mainline Pokemon game is that they hopefully will release in 2024. They're probably not going to release like a brand new generation like generation 10 is definitely probably years away so the next game is going to be like it could possibly just be a remake or a sequel or something i don't know they have something up their sleeves of course people also really want to see like black and white remakes but i think it's very unlikely that we're going to get remakes but i feel like we're not going to get any new remakes for a few years because brilliant diamond shining pearl just came out like that was very recently so they're either going to save remakes for like 2025 or maybe even just the next generation nintendo console i i mean i could be wrong they could throw a curveball once again and give us a new remake in 2024 but it's highly unlikely but yeah let me know what you guys think make sure you leave a like subscribe and i'll see you guys next time <laughs>